Okay, what we're going to do in this tutorial is practice finding the volume of a cylinder. And this problem wants us to use 3.14 for pi. So what we're going to do first is state our formula, which is volume equals pi times radius to the second power multiplied by the height of the cylinder. Now, if you notice, a cylinder has a top surface and a bottom surface that are congruent to each other. And whenever you have a geometric solid where the top and the bottom surfaces are equal to each other, as you do with any kind of prism, remember you just have to find the area of that object's base and then multiply it by its height. And because the base of our cylinder is a circle, that is the first step in our equation. And then taking that result and multiplying it by the height will give us how many cubic centimeters it will take to fill this particular cylinder. So the first thing that we're going to do is substitute r or the radius with 4 because in the diagram it says that our radius is equal to 4 centimeters and our height is equal to 12 so we're going to go ahead and substitute h with 12 and I'm not going to substitute pi for 3.14 just yet I like to do that as my last step so what I'm going to do next is take this radius of 4 and square it which is 16 so I'm going to change this to 16 pi and then I'm going to multiply that by 12 and then what we're going to do is multiply 12 by 16 which is 192 so what we have to do is figure out what 192 times pi or 3.14 is equal to so we're going to go off to the side here and multiply 192 by 3.14. All right, so let's take 4 times 2, which is 8, and then 4 times 9, which is 36, and 4 times 1 plus that 3 is 7, and then for the next place value, we have 1 times 192, so we can just write 192 here. Now we have to write two zeros. And 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 9 is 27, and 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 more is 5. And then we just add all the columns up, and that gives us 8, 8, 15 plus 7 is 22. And we have 10 in this column, and 6 in the first column. And in the problem, we have two digits after our decimal, so the same must hold true on our answer. So the volume of this cylinder is approximately equal to 602 and 88 hundredths cubic centimeters. Now the reason I put approximately equal to is because once I substituted 3.14 in for pi, that value is an approximation, and anytime you multiply any other number, by an approximation, the result is going to be an approximation. So if we were to round this to the nearest whole number, this is about 603 cubic centimeters, to the nearest tenth would be 602 and 9 tenths, but I'm just going to leave this as 602 and 88 hundredths cubic centimeters. All right, so finding the volume of a cylinder is actually pretty easy. It's really just finding the area of a circle and then multiplying the area of that circle by the cylinder's height which will give you the volume of the cylinder. 